today we're going to take a look at the top 10 players with the highest amount of kill points in all of rise of kingdoms one of the cool things about being a content creator is that when you tell your alliance to not say anything sus you get markers like this on your city thank you very much <laughs> don't actually do that though anyway it's been eight months since we talked about the players that have the highest kill points in the entire game here on this channel and the list has changed quite a bit now a few weeks ago I made a video talking about the most powerful players in rise of kingdoms if you missed that go ahead and check it out but the number one request on that video was for me to make a video like this one talking about kill points but what I've seen in the past is that more people actually care about power so if you want to prove me wrong go ahead and drop a thumbs up on the video views and engagement are how I can tell if this is a topic that you guys actually care about and while you're down there consider subscribing do it for Boudica anyway without further ado let's take a look at number 10 on the list of the players with the most kill points in rise of kingdoms and that is none other than TSN MF this is a player that has been legendary for their number of kill points here in rise of kingdom since the day they started playing and I believe that the first time I ever made a video talking about the highest kills I think they were number one or two if I'm not mistaken so the fact that they're number 10 on the list now means that the other players we're going to talk about are absolutely insane but number 10 here MF has 27 billion 742 million kill points if we look at the breakdown an absolutely staggering amount of tier <coughs> of tier five kill points almost 20 billion we have 7.7 .7 billion uh kill points for tier four mf sitting at a cool 688 million power in the peacekeepers alliance of kingdom 10 29 rocking arabia civilization interesting choice there if we take a look at the more info we could see that they're currently at their highest power ever which is super impressive 214 million dead troops absolutely insane there if we jump into their album we're gonna see a few of their hall of heroes and a holy lord jesus what bruh so in a single kvk they have 40 million deads and they are all tier 5 17.6 million uh infantry 14.9 million tier 5 cavalry and 7.6 million tier 5 archers this one's even crazier this is 55 million dead troops in a strife of the eight and if we take a look oh my god 21.4 million dead tier 5 infantry 18.6 million dead tier 5 cavalry and 15 million dead tier 5 archers absolutely insane here from mf showing that he is willing to let his troops perish to guarantee that they get the win in kvk if we take a look at the commander view uh we uh, do not have any details so we can't take a peek at uh at the talent builds here but it looks like we have obviously the zhang yu and nevsky combination here um guan with the extra health is nice i'm sure that he's rallying primarily with a nevsky maybe nevsky joan possibly uh a zhang yu nevsky that's also possible but we see the charge captain Boudica. we're seeing a ton more of archer rallies these days which is absolutely incredible so the commander view is impressive and of course the achievement wall is all gold with zero plays of champions of olympia absolutely incredible moving on to number nine on the list we have none other than it's saz of kingdom 1254 rocking the Germany civilization this player has a staggering 28 billion kill points if we take a look at the breakdown we see 21 billion of those are tier fives with 6.4 billion tier fours absolutely insanity from this player in the therapy required alliance listen if you're killing that many people you probably hey listen therapy might not be a bad thing okay anyway sitting at 312 million power we take a look at the album we got everybody was kung fu fighting panda okay looks like they were in a paladins alliance in 1584 or 1556 perhaps they jumped around and uh i don't know what is going on in this album photo but this looks like it was pretty old because we see a genghis Khan on primary what in the world is going on here look at those resources though boys holy smokes yeah this was this must have been a while ago this looks like it was in kingdom 70 jesus christ this player must have been around for a long time or maybe that was just a kvk map i have no idea taking a look at the more info we see that their highest power ever was 
401 million so it's almost like they just wanted to touch that 400 million before they uh before they drop in power and we have 118 million dead troops crazy numbers on the board here it looks like there's uh I think fewer deads on this account than on MF but still nonetheless the kill points are ridiculous taking a look at the commander view we see uh, a lot of commanders you might not expect I mean obviously this is a, a cavalry player okay um but we see you see Saladin here this means that this player is using Saladin in the open field that's actually interesting it looks like they probably have an expertise Jan Ziska obviously the rally captain here is Zhang Yu with uh with Nevsky I'm curious to know if they're using Joan of Arc here as as a cavalry player we got Cao Cao in the Ranger spot another indication that this is probably a, a cavalry lover any any cavalry gang watching go ahead and comment down below if you're cavalry gang oh my god Emperor's new clothes 56 pieces of legendary equipment woo we this dude is balling anyway moving on to number eight on the list we have Mokot five probably one of the most famous rise of kingdoms players not only for their insane amount of kill points but also because I believe they are a famous soccer player yes it is called soccer ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna get so many hate comments for that anyway Mokot in kingdom 1846 rocking the Ottoman Empire civilization has 29.3 billion kill points 21.3 billion tier 5 7.8 billion tier 4 absolutely incredible in the watch it burn alliance pretty famous alliance here uh 352 million power insanity taking a look at the more information we see their highest power was 606 million which is absolutely ridiculous and a staggering 238 million dead troops oh my god let's take a look at the album here holy this dude is balling out of absolute control I think this dude this he's got to be rich right I mean this is this looks like big rich this is big big rich okay this is talenting all the legendary accessories rich that's actually pretty cool I like I like the Iron Man artwork Iron Man's definitely a, a, a Marvel favorite of mine and holy dude some of the fan art here that just I absolutely love it this is this is sick this looks like an NFT almost is that what that is take a look at the Hall of Heroes here this dude 54 million dead troops in a single kvk absolutely insane we got 15.3 million dead tier 5 infantry 24 million dead tier 5 cavalry and 12.8 million dead tier 5 archers an absolute legend on and off the field in rise of kingdoms as well also a player of champions of olympia really interesting stuff there most players at this uh caliber typically don't bother but uh makot enjoying all the game modes that rise of kingdoms has to offer that's really cool take a look at the commander view we see uh e song Ye for the barbarian damage good choice definitely can respect that charge captain minamoto is definitely interesting perhaps this player is only rallying barbarian forts and that's why or maybe they're in the off season and that's what they switched it to here not really sure but obviously a cav lover here with Zhang Yu and Nevsky we got Boudica over here as well we love to see it obviously we have no commander details they have been hidden which is unfortunate but of course Makote definitely a legend here in Rise of Kingdoms moving on to number seven on the list we have Jutes Jutes loves wine J J Hoots loves wine I'm sorry I probably am mispronouncing it this player was formerly known as wine lover so they've kept that trend here but number seven has 32 billion kill points here absolutely insane 20 billion tier 5 and 10.8 billion tier 4 rocking the Ottoman Empire civilization in Kingdom 2755 so definitely a player that has moved around quite a bit they have 402 million power at the time of recording this we take a look at the album this is all things that we have seen uh before it looks like this is Charlemagne what is going on dude you don't you don't want to be known as the Charlemagne of your kingdom brother that's a, that's a diss or maybe he's saying that he could get more kills with Charlemagne than you could get with anybody that's that's probably what it is but anyway a true lover of wine as we can see here from these pictures absolutely insane if we take a look at the more information the highest power ever 515 million with 114 million dead troops really interesting stuff there it looks like this player maybe a little bit more field fighting from this player than we've seen from some previous players on this list here but still mega impressive nonetheless if we take a look at the commander view we see some K kvk2 kvk2 is my man my man migrated to a kvk2 is that what's going on here lilith listen if your most powerful and most active and biggest slayers in the game are migrating back to kvk2 you gotta start you gotta figure out what's wrong with these new game modes boys it's nearly impossible for lilith to find a more dedicated player than the ones that are on this top 10 list and that even someone like this looks like 
they may have gone back and, and started playing KDK too. That means you should get rid of crystal tech. Just delete it. Just it's better for the longevity of the game. I've been saying this for two years. Just delete crystal tech. We all would love you for it. Thank you. Moving on to number six on the list. We have none other than GT Leopard in Kingdom 1960. They're rocking a Lilith logo. Is this a Lilith employee confirmed? Is this Illuminati right here? really not sure what's going on there could be could be a dev i don't i don't know okay maybe it is maybe it's not 32.6 billion kill points on this player 24.7 billion tier 5 kill points and 7.8 billion tier 4 absolutely incredible with that ottoman empire civilization 342.2 million power right now if we take a look at the album looks like we got a couple of cars my dude absolutely balling out of absolute control is this what is king and queen right here do they know each other in real life are they married are they dating what what is what is going on here looks like they are infantry gang uh potentially wait no that's not the atlanta skin what is that i have no idea anyway clearly gt leopard is insanely rich taking a look at the more information their highest power ever was 520 million with 140 million dead troops right here absolutely incredible super impressive profile with zero achievements but they do tend to play champions of olympia apparently so good good for them i guess taking a look at the commander view we do have some information about these commanders unfortunately no talent builds but they do have expertise probably everything when you're a player like this everything is probably expertise we see a lot of the same suspects guan yu Budica, nevsky zhang yu uh it looks like the the biggest slayers of the game really are using a ton of Zhang Yu as well uh definitely I would say Guan Yu Budica Nevsky and CPO are all like givens as far as the, as as kill points go but Zhang Yu definitely uh an impressive one here and yes they're all expertise level 60 no surprises there coming in at number five by just a small margin is also a player in Kingdom 1960 GT Arvix now this player is legendary for having a ton of accounts and I didn't actually go through and add up all the kill points for all their accounts because that's excessive but we're just looking at their account that has the most kills now what's interesting about arvix here is that this account used to be called gt duckman it used to be a picture of i believe it was a psyduck from pokemon if you guys have seen my other videos on this topic perhaps this player is familiar to you i don't know if duckman and arvix are the same person or if this account is being played by somebody new not really sure i it doesn't really matter to me the 60 GT Alliance though in Kingdom 1960 is absolutely legendary obviously Osiris League players here so this is like the top of the top the cream of the crop and Arvix is beating out sixth place by 270 million kill points for a grand total of 32 billion 880 million kill points taking a look here 24.1 billion tier 5 kill points 8.6 billion tier 4 kill points really impressive stuff on this account and GT Leopard uh you know coming in so close to the same ranking these two are neck and neck and the fact that they're in the same alliance is absolutely insane truly a powerhouse alliance in 1960 Arvix right now sitting at 291 million power we could take a look at their highest power ever was 823 million totally insane totally insane 255 million dead troops that is an absolutely bonkers number of dead troops right there we absolutely love to see it there is no photo album here on the main arvix account if we take a look at the commander view we don't get any information on their talents unfortunately but we do see some interesting choices here that we don't typically see uh from a lot of players on this list now of course we see the cpo alex right this is an interesting one we haven't seen too much cpo on these commander views i'm not really sure why but alex is definitely odd nighthead also definitely very odd for a martel to be on this player's uh, commander view maybe they just forgot about their commander view and they just left these on there or maybe they think that these two commanders are older and so they just need more stats than some of the newer and they're trying to bring them up by a tiny bit i have no idea uh but regardless we see a really interesting commander view here of course attila as the charge captain definitely uh we've seen tons of attila as charge captain in the past typically you don't see that as the case these days 
but we do see a little bit of the Attila Nevsky rallies so it's possible that that's what's going on here but that does beg the question why would you not have Nevsky here instead of commanders like Martel or Alex regardless Arvix a legendary player also a uh, champions of Olympia glorious gold medal receiver interesting stuff there perfect uh, achievement wall and overall insane account coming in at number four is the legend himself Baba TC Ataturk in Kingdom 2489 right Right now obviously Baba is known for being one of the most powerful players in the game while also being one of the most impressive slayers in the entire game with 33.3 billion kill points now there's 25.7 billion kill points for tier 5 7.5 billion kill points for tier 4 rocking the Ottoman Empire civilization don't need an introduction to the power here this was and is like the original billion power player okay 1.1 billion power here on Baba's account if we take a look their highest power ever 1.3 billion it is my understanding that perhaps in the next few weeks or maybe even at the time of recording this uh Baba has given this account to his son that is my understanding no idea if that is true or if that will become true in the future I do think that he stated that whether or not that I, I don't know I think a lot of players leave rise of kingdoms and eventually they find themselves back in the game let's just be real okay it's it's a it's a lifestyle it's not just a game if we take a look at the uh at the, at the album here we've seen this album many times on the channel not really going to go too deep into this they're very they're all the same pictures pretty much that we've seen but if you guys didn't know Baba is a massive entrepreneur and business owner I think he runs multiple businesses to my understanding and that's probably how he has so much bank to have an account like this uh, I don't want to skim over the deads here though 202 million dead troops absolutely insane Baba is obviously one of the most legendary players in the game if we take a look at the commander view we see interesting choices here we have yet to see a Trajan so this is the first time we're seeing Trajan taking a look at the talents here I'm curious to know what he's got going on here this is probably the best uh talent build you could do if you're planning on using him um as a single troop type uh, typically you would want to grab maybe the things off to the sides here but I have no idea what what strategy he's implemented for Trajan uh, perhaps this is just a supportive March and he's using it for that's really what Trajan is right um, we have Guan Yu Nevsky Zhang Yu all typical suspects here we see Cao Cao also in the Ranger slot I feel like we see a lot of Cao Cao here normally I feel like we see a lot of Minamoto but hey it is what it is let's take a look at the Nevsky talents just out of curiosity okay full skill tree came all the way up here this is a pretty standard talent build I would say let's look at what what we've got for the Guan Yu also full skill builds okay very interesting I feel like I really like buckler shield on on Guan because he's a little bit squishy but regardless uh who am I to tell Baba what to do because my man has a infinitely more kill points than I will ever have also no Boudica here wonder what uh wonder what the strategy is there for archers for Baba's lineup moving on to number three on the list who just slightly outclasses Baba in the kill points is Ahmad Aziz in Kingdom 1412 with 33.5 billion kill points 24.6 billion tier fives 8.7 billion tier fours rocking the Ottoman Empire and sitting at only 86 0.6 million power I have more power than this player and yet their kill points show a completely different story than what we see on my account kind of a farmer cough cough wink wink we take a look here highest power ever was 488 million so basically they've lost 400 million power worth of troops and traded that power or kill points they have 159 million deads here which is absolutely insane so to get this level of kill points with less deads than we've seen from other players on this list there must be a little bit more field fighting going on here perhaps this player is just tired of spending money on rise of kingdoms and that's why they've let their power go so low totally understand that definitely I'm not judging there if we take a look at their album here we see some insane uh training by Ahmad Aziz holy smokes this dude is taking number one spot pretty much every single time actually terrifying going up against a player like this is actually terrifying if you see him on the battlefield you better run bro you better run because he will absolutely slay you taking a look at the commander view we see some usual suspects although this looks like more of a garrison player at this point which is really interesting we see Honda as their as their Ranger why what's going on here not really sure we have CPO love to see that 
Zenobia and Jan Ziska right here love to see that combination too very interesting two different potential garrisons um we also see Nevsky as the charge captain so perhaps we're seeing some Nevsky rallies with Joan of Arc totally possible there as well I feel like Ottoman Empire is the uh is the way to go based on what we're seeing here in this video moving on to number two on the list the gap widens we see Clubman in Kingdom 1647 with 36.4 billion kill points a pretty massive jump from third place here we have 29.7 billion tier 5 kills which is absolutely insane 6.5 billion tier 4 kill points also rocking the ottoman empire civilization and sitting at merely 97.9 million power another example of you not needing to be a 500 million power andy in order to get kill points like this now if we take a look at the more information wow okay highest power ever is only 152 million so this player just lines up their troops just to get them knocked down now this is also the lowest amount of deads we've seen on the entire video 49.5 million deads so this is definitely more of a field fighter than uh than you know rally or garrison leader this is obviously still super impressive the amount of kill points they were able to pull down here and this just goes to show that if you want insane amounts of kill points with a low amount of power you probably want to stick to field fighting and keep all your troops to yourself and hey that strategy seems to be working for them really really well there is no album on club man's account no achievements and no uh champions of olympia plays over here okay it's a simple man he just likes to go and kill enemy players and that's pretty much it if we take a look at the commander view we see the first I think it's the first Joan of Arc we've seen on the commander view which is actually shocking we see Gilgamesh and Nebu so perhaps we're seeing this as an archer rally um really not sure this player doesn't seem to be doing too many rallies from what I can tell but it is what it is we also have a Guan Yu which is expected as well Ethel fled in the Ranger slot um, but other than that these are all pretty usual suspects that we would expect from a player of this caliber finally coming in at number one the player with the most number of kill points in the entire game is a player who goes in the name of Hanoman Idan. Now, this is apparently the same account as Goodfather. If you guys have seen previous episodes of this series, Goodfather has pretty much been in the number one spot for the longest time. It seems to be the case that their name has changed to Hanoman Idan or Eden. I don't know if the account was sold or if it was taken over or it was given to someone else or if Goodfather still plays it occasionally and just changed the name. Not really sure, but this player sitting at number one has 40.7 billion kill points a 4 billion lead on second place which is absolutely incredible 30.7 billion tier 5 kills truly truly ridiculous the amount of kill points here even if we deleted all their tier four kill points they would still be number eight on this list okay so absolutely insane here also rocking the ottoman empire with 152 million power taking a look at the highest power ever 512 million truly insane 187 million dead troops so this is definitely a little bit lower than some of the other dead troops we've seen in this video so this just goes to show that you know you can get the highest kill points ever and you don't need the highest deads you can get good trades and make it all the way to the top taking a look at their album we we see uh I I don't that looks like Wukong or something like that I, I have no idea what's going on what is this dude you got you got a couple of got a couple of cocks on on your album little little fire cock right here I don't know what 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 is this <laughs> looking at the commander view we see some usual suspects okay Zhang Yu Nevsky Attila also in the charge captain really interesting and Zenobia for the night head now again if this account has changed hands it feels a little bit dirty to put them as number one right because whoever if you know if someone new is controlling this account most of these kill points were not earned by that person rather it's been earned by this account owned by somebody else in the past also no name plaque no no frame here interesting choice but regardless this account is technically the highest kill points in the entire game with that being said guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton of helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it comment down below if you are in Cal cavalry gang infantry gang or archer gang and tell me who you think is the most impressive slayer that we saw on this list today while you're down there subscribe to the channel and consider clicking the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video but with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace